Dear students, in this topic we shall discuss the inositol phospholipid and calcium signaling second messenger systems. Some water soluble hormones use inositol phospholipid pathway to produce their effect. These hormones include angiotensin 2, catecholamines, some hypothalamic hormones, for example, GnRH, growth hormone releasing hormone, oxytocin, thyrotropin releasing hormone, and vasopressin or ADH. Now we shall discuss in detail the mechanism of inositol phospholipid signaling system. The hormone binds to the transmembrane receptor which is linked to the G protein. The G protein activates an enzyme which is called phospholipase C. It is here that the pathway of inositol phospholipid uh, signaling system separates or differentiates from the CAMP pathway where the G protein activates an adenylate cyclase. The phospholipase C enzyme catalyzes the breakdown of some phospholipids in the plasma membrane. For example, phosphatidyl inositol bisphosphate or PIP2. As a result, two different second messengers are formed. First is the inositol trace phosphate and second is diacyl glycerol. The inositol trace phosphate mobilizes calcium ions from intracellular stores of calcium. These stores include mitochondria and endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum or mitochondria mein jo calcium ions mojood hote hain, ye jo inositol trisphosphate hai, ye un resources ko mobilize karta hai aur wahan se calcium ions nikalna shuru hote hain aur cytoplasm mein a jate hain. As a result, calcium ion concentration in the cell is increased and these calcium ions act as second messengers, yani ke other second messenger, inositol trace phosphate itself second messenger hai aur ab usne ek aur second messenger activate karwa diya, that is the calcium ions. These calcium ions which have their own second messenger effects act on the smooth muscle contraction and change and cause changes in cell secretions. The other second messenger produced in this pathway is the diacyl glycerol, which activates an enzyme which is called protein kinase C. The protein kinase C phosphorylates a large number of proteins which lead to cells response. Diacyl glycerol also acts as a precursor for the synthesis of certain prostaglandins and some other local hormones. These hormones have their have multiple effects in the tissues throughout the body. Is tarah se ye jo chain of reaction shuru hoti hai, is me bohot mukhtlif kisam ke aur zyada wasi pemane ke upar responses produce Dear students, now we shall discuss the calcium signaling systems. Some hormones interact with the receptor and open calcium channels. Calcium when enters through these channels acts as second messenger. When calcium ions enter the cell through these channels, they bind to a protein which is called cul modulin. 
कॉल मॉडुलिन की चार एक्टिव साइट्स हैं जो कैल्शियम को अपने साथ बाइंड करती हैं जब कैल्शियम आइंस इन साइट्स के साथ बाइंड हो जाते हैं तो एज ए रिजल्ट कॉल मॉडुलिन एक्टिवेट हो जाती है ये जो एक्टिवेटेड कॉल मॉडुलिन होती है दिस एक्टिवेट्स एन इंजाइम विच इज कॉल्ड कॉल मॉडुलिन डिपेंडेंट प्रोटीन काइनेज इंजाइम कॉलमोडोलिन डिपेंडेंट प्रोटीन काइनेज फॉस्फोरिलेट्स सर्टेन प्रोटीन्स काइनेज इंजाइम्स जितने भी हैं वो तमाम फॉस्फोरिलेशन करवाते हैं ये वाला इंजाइम जो है जो कि कॉलमोडोलिन डिपेंडेंट प्रोटीन काइनेज है ये भी स्पेसिफिक प्रोटीन्स की फॉस्फोरिलेशन करता है जो कि हार्मोन के जो भी स्पेसिफिक हार्मोन जिसने ये जनरेट करवाया है कैल्शियम आइंस का सिग्नलिंग सिस्टम इसकी एक्टिवेशन के नतीजे में उन प्रोटीन्स की फॉस्फोरिलेशन होती है डे स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस टेक एन एग्जांपल ऑफ कैल्शियम सिग्नलिंग सिस्टम विच इज फाउंड आर यूज इन दंट्रेक्शन ऑफ स्मूथ मसल्स In the smooth muscles, this uh, signaling system is used. It involves activation of myosin kinase enzyme, which phosphorylates the protein myosin in the smooth muscles. जब myosin की phosphorylation होती है smooth muscles में तो इसके नतीजे में smooth muscles contract करते हैं इस तरह से कैल्शियम सिग्नलिंग पाथवे स्मूथ मसल्स की कॉन्ट्रैक्शन कराता है 